Good morning, friends. Uh, sorry it's a little late. We've had some stuff going on this morning, and uh, we're thankful uh, Jesus has started and we had some conversations, as I'm sure many of you are. Uh, these are scary times for our nation. Uh, not only do we have this virus that's something none of us have been through in our lifetime, but now we have evidence again that there is a justice problem in America that people aren't treated equally despite what they look like or where they come from. And those things can all combine with financial and job and kids going crazy and too many people in the house all day to frighten us. And I just would remind you again what the word says in 1 John 4, 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear. Because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. I'm not one of those people with the most to fear in this world, but I have times that I'm afraid. And it's important for us to know that God is our help and our resource, our strength and our comfort. And we need to allow God to be God. We can't control everything. We can't control everybody. We can't even control those who are closest to us. And those things can make us afraid. We have to understand that we're here to help God do God's work in this world. There will be pain and there will be heartache. But our job is just to follow. It's not our job to fix everything, although we need to try to do our best to help. It's not our job to fix anyone, although we need to share God's love with them. It is our job to follow Jesus, to love like he loved, to care like he cared, to serve like he served. And when we do that, we find that he really does have everything under control. And God is able to work and does work in anything and everything for our good and for his purposes. So just take a breath today. Just relax in God's love. And then go out and do the will of the one who died for you. Work hard. Play hard. Love hard. And let God's love overcome the fear and anxiety in your life. Let me pray for you. God, we ask for the amazing we ask that your love would take out every bit of anxiety and fear in our lives. We ask that you would provide conversations and opportunities for us to share your love with others. We ask that you bring peace to our country and justice to our people. We need you, Lord. Help us to be part of the solution, we pray. Amen. This evening, we're going to have Bible study at 7. Uh, the link will be in your email or on your Facebook post. And uh, we would love to have about six or seven more of you come if you'd like to. Just let me know. Uh, we've got a few seats left. Uh, we'll be socially distanced, but we'll have a chance to be face-to-face -face and hopefully uh, bring some comfort. And at the same time, we'll be online so that everyone can see what's going on. Okay? Also, as a reminder, we are having our teens together from 6 to late tomorrow evening. Contact Miss Teresa if you have questions about that. And our kids will be getting together Saturday morning. And we'll get details out to parents. We are still working on details about our Sunday morning service. Uh, weather permitting, it will be outdoors at 11. Uh, you will either be allowed to be in your car and we'll have an FM transmitter broadcasting the signal or you can be out socially distanced on lawn chairs or blankets or whatever you'd like. Um, we will have two tents set up on either side uh, for those who want to be up under that but they'll be kind of on side stage from where we are. Uh, we will try our best to keep us all clean and safe and at the same time to have a chance to worship together. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.